It began with the killing of Hamas's military commander, and now Israel has launched a major offensive against Palestinian militants in the Gaza Strip. The surgical strike on the car carrying Ahmed al-Jabari immediately shattered hopes of a truce brokered by Egypt. The talks had followed five days of violence, which saw over 100 missiles fired by Palestinian militants and retaliations by Israel. This Hamas official said the Zionist enemy does not recognize mediators and does not recognize control agreements. The Zionist enemy has for so long spilled our people's blood, men, women, children and elders. The battle between us and the enemy is open and will end, God willing, with the liberation of Jerusalem. Israel's operation Pillar of Defense started with the hit on al-Jabari, and just minutes later, big explosions were rocking Gaza. The Israeli Prime Minister said today we've sent a clear message to Hamas and other terrorist organizations, and if there is a need, the Israeli Defense Forces are prepared to widen the operation. We will continue to do everything to defend our citizens. But it was Palestinian civilians who were forced to run for cover as the Israeli military blasted selected targets by land, sea and air just before sundown. Around 10 people were reported dead and some 40 wounded following the attacks.